you are there sitting waiting you are waiting welcome i'm shaja bich from uh, top quality junior school here for you to discuss mathematics um i was here the previous day and i left some work i thank those that did it and you forwarded your solutions i saw that work and i was giving you the solutions to each and i was telling everyone your mistake where to correct and it's and i believe that whoever received my corrections or the marking guide at least you was helped um i cannot go away without recognizing someone who, who is called the nachi Rashida uh, from step hill junior school on the you was the best among those that attempted my questions last time you had very neat work and you got everything neat there are very many that attended the lesson and you saw you sent in your work like uh, b -b -b travis of jordan junior school kezia jesse of umbuya parents and very many others i received uh, your work and i also gave you the solutions and as well is even the marking Derek kawesa you were the first to hand in the work on the WhatsApp. So even today, as we discuss our questions, be attentive, make sure that you do understand very well. Then after, the few questions that I will put for you, for you to try, try them, send them to me through the WhatsApp number that will be there down there on your screen, which is 753 you send me your solution and I guide you. In case there's some way that I something that I handled and you didn't understand, you can meet me on WhatsApp and I make more clear clearance. So let's begin with our question today in regard to the time. Our question today are Our question today bring me number six on your paper, producer. Our question today that we are beginning with begins with issues of finite and mod. These are very common questions in papers of PLE. And so I don't want to go away without uh, trying that number first. Let's begin with the last number, Mr. Producer. Not that one. Because at least that first one, they know it. So because of time, I want to begin from down, from the hard ones to those simple ones. So I was saying that these numbers are very common in papers of PLE, so I want to touch those areas which are very common. Uh, let's read together. Our number one that we are beginning with is that number down there. It is saying that work out 4 plus 3 finite 7. You are working out 4 plus 3 equals dash finite seven or finite seven now this number here has two ways that you can attempt it one which is very simple is called the dial method it's called the dial method dial method we draw a clock when we draw it we depend on the finite given to us to draw it. That is now, for example, this is a finite 7. We shall draw our clock. In finite 7, we shall be required to put their numbers from 0 to 60.
if it was infinite 5 then you put up to 4 now after drawing your clock dial there you move here this what we call clockwise movement or clockwise clockwise movement and the opposite is anti-clockwise now the clockwise movement we shall move just like the way the clock hands do move the anti-clockwise we shall move the opposite direction now for addition addition tells us that we should move in a clockwise movement so since we have four we shall move four steps from zero here we count four steps and we end there at first so this will be one two three four so it means that we are going to come up to there so we shall move that is four a plus tells us to move in a clockwise movement and so we shall say plus add from there and then what are we going to add three steps which is three, three steps? They will begin from here. Count space one, two steps, three steps. We are counting the spaces. One, two, three. So now I will go and reach where? There. Which number have I landed on? I've landed at zero. There are four. Four plus three is equal to zero. Find seven. That is the dial method. Very simple. Very simple. Uh -huh. Now, we are going to go to the uh, calculation method. The calculation method is done like this. You will say that 4 plus 3 is equal to what? It is equal to 7. Now, since we said that in infinity 7, we can't have there, we cannot have there 7 as a digit within. So, when you get a number after summing up, if you get a number which is 7 or more, it means that get that total you've got, divide it by the finite given to, to you. So here we shall say 7, divide now by 7. What is 7 divided by 7? 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1, remainder 0. There are 4, 4 plus 3 is equal to 0, finite 7. Here we take the remainder. It is the remainder that we take to be our answer. So this is the calculation method, this is the dial method. I always advise my children to use this dial method because for it is very simpler. You see it was four, you just move one, two, three, four steps. It is running me here. Then plus, you go clockwise. I move one, two, three. Then this uh, calculation method. Sometimes children forget and instead of putting us the rem mean the remainder as the answer, they again put this. So that's how we do that number. Let's go to the next number. Uh, it is work out. Uh, this one is work out. 2 minus 3 is equal to dash finite 5. Sometimes we also use this word mod. It's the same way that we attempted the question. Now, the other one was addition. Now this is the subtraction. When is subtraction using that method now? Draw your clock dial with a pair of compass and a pencil, not a free hand like I've done. Eh? Yes. So now this is infinite five. It means that inside here we shall write from zero 
to 4. That is now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The first value they are talking of is 2. It is one step, two steps. I'm going to land here. So I will move using a pencil because this is a diagram. Now that is 2. This symbol negative, I mean minus, tells me that now don't move clockwise. This subtraction tells me that now you were moving like this, turn back, go to where you were coming from. So I will then change my direction. But on changing the direction, what am I going to move? I will move three steps, which will be one, two, three. So I'm going to come up to here. I will move back. That is one, two, three. So what have I landed on? I've landed on four. Therefore, two minus three is equal to four. Finite five. That's the dial method. So I'll, I will show you how to use the calculation method when we come back for our next phase. Uh, from now a few minutes don't go away stay tuned what you've not understood send on whatsapp i'll give a feedback to you don't leave your sitting room now if you're going for short call go right now so that uh, you don't miss the next session thank you teacher jb is my name from top quality junior school